What do you do when life changes in an instant? Well, for one Churchill High School family, they relied on their faith, family, football, community, and each other to help get them through it. But it's not over yet. Here's Matt Roy. When one of our own is, is in need, we're, we're all in need. Eight weeks ago, Amanda and Brian Ramirez could have never imagined this day being necessary. Selling these plates to take some of the financial burden off of their plate. Why would they? Eight weeks ago, their son Alessandro was perfectly healthy. And then, he wasn't. September 13th, Churchill taking on Clemens, Ale's 17th birthday. We had um, surprised Ale with some cupcakes and the team just wanted to celebrate right before the game with them. They won that battle on the field, but Ale's war off of it was just beginning. Two days later, Ale started experiencing a sore throat and exhaustion. So I took him to the emergency room um, and there they did a couple tests and he was negative for strep, RSV, everything you could think of except for one study that they did and it was for uh, mono. Mono, normally not a huge deal, but this wasn't normal. And after three more visits to the ER, Ale was admitted to the hospital. But before doctors could figure out what was truly wrong, Ale stopped breathing and coded. I could just see. sorry. All I could see was him mouthing, help me mom. And he was breathing. After saving him, the doctors wanted to insert a breathing tube and put Ale into a medically induced coma, still searching for a true cause. And all I could think was would, would this be the last time that I speak to him? Ale had to fight to survive. And if you ask his parents, there's a reason that he did. If you think about how strong Ale is and how he got through what he did and how our daughter was able to do this, I think it goes back to Amanda being a leukemia survivor. It took a whole year before she was in, you know, in remission. Our kids saw their mom go from, you know, workout fanatic, healthy, super producer to being sick and almost dying multiple times. When the kids were small, I explained that to them. It was for a purpose. And I remember right before Ale went into surgery, I saw him do the sign of the cross. And when Ale did that, I felt that it was a sign that he had a purpose in life. I just knew that um, God was with us. And I knew that uh, <clears throat> after what we went through with my wife, that I knew he wouldn't take my son from me. And I knew it was just uh, something preparing us for something better, something bigger. And they were right. They basically found like a like muscle eating bacteria in my neck on a CT scan. And then I had to go into emergency surgery. Alive and breathing after seven surgeries, including a tracheotomy and one that required a nine inch incision across his neck to access his veins and muscles. And so yeah, that, then I got this cool scar. <laughs> A lifelong reminder that his life has a purpose. And even though the family's faith did the heavy lifting, the Churchill community helped Ale through, too. Hey, Ale, we're all wearing our bracelets for you. We love you and we miss you, brother. Let's go. Yeah. Our community, Churchill community, did an amazing job of, I think, of kind of stepping up and, and helping the family where they needed help, whether it be uh, bringing breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, just going by and saying hi to Ali, uh, the boys every so often we would send. Uh, voice messages because he, he couldn't read uh, the phone, but they could play it for him. Teammates, coaches, parents, teachers, and faculty bringing food, sending texts and letters, visiting Ale in the hospital, anything to help pick up their fallen charger. It made me stronger because it gave me like the motive, because I'm a very dedicated person when it comes to getting better and like I don't give up. So when I was reading those letters and Hearing them when my parents would read them to me and stuff, I was really like, oh, I'm gonna get better. Like, Was there a moment where you were like, we're gonna be okay, this is gonna be okay? When, yes, when he woke up and said, oh God, my legs are so small. <laughs> That's when I knew we were gonna be fine. Six weeks in the hospital caused Ale to lose about 60 pounds, turning him from this 
into this, having to relearn how to walk, talk, eat, and even swallow again. But after six weeks, he was discharged. And the first thing he wanted to do was pump up his team before the game that week. Come on in, come on. Eight weeks after a sore throat nearly turned into death, the community stepped up one more time, organizing the plate sale to take some pressure off the Ramirez family. When you give and give and give, it feels awkward to, to receive, but it's been really great to have that feeling of love and compassion for people that we really know, but not that aren't family. Well, they're family now. It lets me know that a lot of people love me and care for me. Did you yeah. think six, five weeks ago, you would have yeah. you know, this, this miracle happen for you guys? Um, last night while we were laying in bed, I, I heard our daughter and him talking and laughing and playing. I couldn't help but get emotional because that couldn't have been the case. <clears throat> um, and it was really nice to hear him and my daughter laughing and playing in their room. For Maximum Sports, I'm Matt Roy. Alessandro is already gaining some of his weight back and is hoping to play football for the Chargers next season, but he and his family still have a long, long road ahead. So to donate to their cause, please head over to our website, foxsanantonio.com, to find out how you can help.